Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti from MSI. Uh, this is the dual fan version, uh, but it feels really heavy and nice and has a nice design. Before we start this video, I just want to say that subscribing to our channel helps out a lot and that it's free, as well as the comment on our videos, and we will answer back as soon as possible. Taking a look on the box, we see that this is the OC edition of this card from MSI. Uh, this is the RTX 3060 Ti, of course, the Ventus 2X, referring to the fans, two of them. Uh, of course, this is the NVIDIA Ampere R architecture, as well as that has ray tracing and DLSS. There is not much more on the front, so let's spin it to the side. And on the side we just see the name of the card, so let's, let's just spin it around to the back side here. And on the back we see that there is a lot more information. This of course has the dual fan design as, well, as we said on the front there, and the Torx fan 3.0 which is supposed to be better, blah blah blah. And we see Afterburner which is a really good software core pipes for the better contact with the GPU as well as the Dragon Center software. And if you look on the bottom here we see that we have more information about the NVIDIA Ampere architecture like ray tracing and tensor cores and so forth. And with the specifications we see that we have 8GB of DDR6 and 256-bit bus and 3 display ports and HDMI. But let's spin this around again and see if we have any more on the side here and we don't have that so let's just go all around again. And by the way, stand till the end for a special Christmas and 1k sub giveaway. Enough about that though, let's see what's inside the box. Inside the box we have this black MSI like letter thing, so let's open it up and see what's in there. And here we have the usual MSI or pff, graphic card installation guide and you know, a thank you letter from MSI. And we don't get much more inside the box, so let's pick out the graphic card. Here we have the masterpiece, and here we can see that we have the MSI logo and brand name, as well as the GeForce RTX brand name there and there, and the MSI logo on the top. We also have a really nice backplate that I appreciate for this card, as well as the two 8-pin connectors. And why I appreciate the backplate is because this is one of the cheapest RTX 3060 Ti's. We also see that we have a hefty heatsink here that where the iron actually is turned around, so it goes out the back and out the front there, or however you want to say it. On all the other RTX cards, the fins are positioned the other way, so the air goes onto the motherboard and then onto the side of the case. When I spin the card around here, we see that it goes out the back, and if we just wait a little bit more, it goes out the front where the connectors are for the HDMI and display ports. Now when we spun this card around, we see that this is a nice looking card, especially for being a budget card, you know, 3060, and one of the cheapest ones. Now let's flip this card up so we can see the card from the side you haven't seen yet, and if you're using a rice or anything like that. Looking at this side, we see the two big chunky fans here, and we see that the plastic underneath there looks really nice. We don't see any RGB though, but for the price you don't get that. Let's spin this card around so you can see how it looks from this side as well. And you see the flipped fins there if you look on the back again, and you will be able to see them again now on the front here. As I said before, this card looks really nice, especially for the price, but let's take a look on the display connectors of this card. And here we see the, the HDMI 2.1, as well as three display ports, 1.4A. But let's compare this card to other graphic cards. So here we have a couple of graphic cards, we're gonna compare both thickness and length of these three cards. We have the RTX 3060 Ti in the middle, the GTX 1060 in the front, and the RTX 3080 in the back. And we see that already now the length of the 3080 is way longer. And if we look here on the thickness, we see that the 30, th the 30 series are usually 2.5, while the older series are usually 2 ports thick. Let's spin this card around so you can really see it for yourself. Let's see how silent this card is compared to others. I'm gonna use a decibel meter to measure this. And I'm gonna be quiet now so you can hear it when it's silent and when it's the loudest. I lost a bit of the sound there and I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna, now going to show you instead how it looks within a case in a build system. Uh, 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 
But let's look at the performance of this 3060 Ti, both with ray tracing and not non ray tracing on. The first game, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, we're gonna use 1K, while Tomb Raider and Metro Exodus will be using ray tracing and 2K resolution. <laughs> Let's take a look at some benchmark scores. I'm gonna use 3 mark and some Time Spy. Uh, all the system info will be in the description. And here we see a total score of 11,002, while the CPU score is 14,500 and the GPU score is 10,500. But let's take a look on the temps of this card, because I, I was actually quite amazed. Here we see a minimum of 4 to 1 degrees Celsius, as well as 6 to 8 as a maximum. And I really pressured the card. And lastly, for all you miners out there, I'm gonna show you some Ether mining hash rate information. And this is on the newest um, software, of course, newest drivers uh, at the time. And we have a special announcement for this video. We reached a thousand subscribers and also it's Christmas in a week. So we're gonna do a special giveaway on Christmas day. So be sure to comment and subscribe to this video and you will be able to win a couple of games and also a water cooling system from Cooler Master, a double rad system. I'll be shipping this all around the world. So don't hesitate to join this giveaway. But now, to the normal giveaway section of the video. So let's see who's gonna be this weekend's giveaway winner. Let's just input the video URL right here. Filter away duplicate users, include replies on all the comments. Let's see how many. We have 57 unique comments, so let's just start the raffle and see who is going to win. Samuel Chen. Should I get this or back order right now? Well, this is a good card, I would have gotten it. But let's see which game you are going to get instead. Over to the other section. Here we have the Wheel of Games. So let's just do a lucky shuffle. Samuel, and let's hope you get something good. I'm clicking right now. Hmm, you can either choose this game and let's see if we can get something else as well. So, I'm gonna roll again and you can choose between the two. Ooh. So either you choose Dead by Daylight or XCOM Enemy Unknown. So, just contact me and uh, we'll search you up with the key. Remember to subscribe and click the bell notification for more videos, as well as like, comment and share. To be in the next weekend's giveaway, just see to it that you have subscribed and that you have commented on the video. Uh, if you have done that, you will be in the next weekend's spinning the wheel giveaway. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day now. Bye bye.